Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Uh, today, we're gonna be demoing a deck a few folks have asked for in Explore. This is Mono Blue Spirits. Uh, we got a new card for this deck in Mausoleum Wander. One mana, one one. Uh, whenever another spirit enters the battlefield, it gets plus one till end of turn, and you can sack the Wander uh, to counter target instant or sorcery, unless this opponent play, pays X, where X is its power. Uh, so a way to kind of counter stuff while you're tapped out. Um, so this is normally a deck that I don't really enjoy the playstyle of, um, but we will give it a shot, see how it kind of works out and go from there. I may be playing it in best of one. Uh, there is a sideboard that I'll include if you're interested in playing it in best of three. Um, but really it is a tribal deck that's using synergies like Supreme Phantom to buff our team, Rattle Chains as protection and a way to have our other spirits come in with Flash. We can tap our spirits to tap down our opponent's stuff. So it's very much a tempo deck. We have counter spells, we have Bounce, and we have Card Advantage and Curious Possession and Spectral Sailor. Uh, so we'll give this a go. Uh, I did hit Mythic number one with Mono Red Alchemy. I'm currently sitting now Mythic six. Um, I'm just gonna play this in the play queue because I am not very versed with this deck. And to be honest, I just wanna have, try it out, see how it is. Like I said, I tried a couple games with this when I was at Diamond and it was fine. Like, it's a very powerful deck if it's the top performing deck, at least the last couple weeks in best of one. Uh, oh, video. There I am. Um, it's just a dependent playstyle. Like, I just don't enjoy this type of deck, but I gotta play everything. Gotta know how to beat stuff, so we'll play this stuff. Um, really, what you wanna do with this deck is ideally play out a one drop, equip it, and kinda go from there. Uh, this sounds fine. Gives us some options. If it's like blue white control, I have counters. Um, I could put like three points of pressure down and then just counter their next two spells. Notably, blue white did get Supreme Verdict, so that gets us. I'm guessing this based off their what appears to be Obscura sleeves, so we shall see. Opponent, opponent, where are you? Where are you? So this card's been interesting. When I played the games, the format's very creature heavy, so it's sacrifice is less relevant. Um, I was feeling like when I was playing the games, I almost wanted to be on like Fading Hope. Uh, the games where you do have Rattle Chains and then you don't have Rattle Chains are night and day. Just being able to play out all your creatures at instant speed really opens these up. Uh, similarly, if when you do have um, Curious Obsession and when you don't, so it seems like they might have Fatal Push here. Let me just go Thoughtseize. I think that's fine. Because either they're going to take a counter spell or they're going to take my Shacklegeist and leave me down a threat and then I have answers for their next two spells. This also puts them down a bit of life. Opponent, you're there. We got a reader, it looks like we now got a reader. So if they take the counter, which they do. Um, Supreme Phantom's a better threat, let's we push out more damage. Also makes it so this counters better. Okay, so this is Rakdos mid. So it's gonna die anyways, so we'll counter this so they don't get their access to Bone Crusher Giant. Um think we just pass here. Because I want to have access to the counter spell and then I'll play out my Shacklegeist. Uh, that's fine. Lofty Denial is nice. This Harvester doesn't do much. Now I have two counter spells for whatever they play. This matchup's really good for the Spirits deck. They're playing a slower deck, so. If 
they thought sees, we let him thought sees. It's an interesting decision. If I was them, I would probably blood tie, like go after Supreme Phantom, because then blood tithe can take out the Shackle Geist. Okay, so we have Brazen Borrower as an additional threat. This game should be wrapped up. I think, depending on what they play out, we might just flash this in as a creature. They have an interesting line here where they can try to go like Chandra. They're down, they're only one black source, so they don't have access. Fable's fine. So I'm just going to put him to seven here. And now this just protects whatever their removal spell is. And this is basically like how you're going to be playing out the deck. We had a couple points of interaction. Throw out a threat or two. <laughs> Should I lofty denial them? All right, on the board. I kind of want to run into some like aggressive decks. I think that's where the real test would be. I, uh, I actually ran into Crokies while playing this. He was on his Citadel build, so that was an easy matchup because he just counter Citadel, uh, and he has no interaction, like no removal in that deck. Um, I ran into Mono Red. I was able to beat Mono Red one game, but that was because I drew double Supreme Phantom. Uh, which really helps kind of set it up. If you can Supreme Phantom, then it lets you scale your stuff out of range. Okay, sounds good. So this is actually good because I can go Mausoleum Wander and then Protect. Oh, yeah, I need to do that. Gladly draw a card. Ah, I missed out a point of damage. I forgot this is a trigger, but I wanted to see what we drew first. Thank you, Laura. I defy your one drop. Ripples and so this could be the Storm the Festival version. I think we're still just going face. Because I get a draw spell here, I can flash this in. It's actually interesting because this represents two points of damage, but it's the same with Supreme Phantom. Yeah, it's fine. Because I'll flash this in, I'll just bounce the Cavalier of Thorns. This is another matchup. Well, Ca like Cavalier is a bit of an annoying from a blocker standpoint. this. Oh yeah, this is like super over. And that's why I kind of like the Fading Hope style effects. Turn 4 dead. Probably had a good draw too. Turn 2 Kiora, turn 3 Cavalier of Thorns. Like, that's a good curve for mono green. Access to a ton of mana. Really, with this deck, like, you got a bunch of cheap threats. You're just trying to find that, like, angle of attack. Like, do you go over top? Do you go under them? Do you just bounce their stuff? Uh, you have the option of kind of ignoring a lot of it. Because you're presenting a lot of threats they need to answer. All right. We go first there on Kahira, so Kahira generally means control. So I'm gonna go Shacklegeist here, because that gives me access to two counter spells for the following turn. We also have Faceless Haven, which is a pretty good card in this matchup. So 
So they need to decide how they want to react here. The Dovin's Veto. So we're going to go Faceless here because then I can still hold up access to the Lofty Denial. Um, I don't think it matters, but do it nonetheless. And I think unless they tap out... We just hold up our mana. Like I can flash in Spectral Sailor, but it's probably going to beat a counter spell. Or eat a counter spell, I should say. The channel is a way around that. So I wasn't going to play this out, that got hit by the channel anyways, that was like the only actually clean out that they had. They do have access to Supreme Verdict mana. And they also have access to this Field of Ruin which is annoying because it can target my Faceless. So it's actually a very good draw on their part. I need to go in here. And they had the march too. Yeah, that's uh. I think this turn we're just gonna do this. They can't wandering emperor, and this faceless haven's gonna die anyways. I'm not going to play this out. I want individual threats. I have an answer if they go to Fairy here. This plays well like into Wandering Emperor. Now that they have the Field of Ruin up though. I'm actually going to do this. Because it forces the Field of Ruin. And like this, they need to decide between the Wandering. <coughs> they have Vito. Yeah, they weren't going to beat Vito anyways. I think that's right. Kind of interesting they didn't just go Field of Ruin. They can stick it to Fairy here, which is going to be bad. If they do, it's probably game over. And this is how Blue White wins. Four removal spells with an Encounterable. And then I think I just go Field of Ruin there. It's a cleaner answer. So that's a good sign. Scry 2 to the top is not a good sign. Let me make up my mind here. I want to see what information we have before this attack. Hello. Hello. I would love a flash threat just to play post combat. This is the worst part of blue white. Not only do they take forever to win, they rope you. You're gonna let me draw my card. Sir, sir, or madame, Evilio, Evilio. I just want to draw one card. 
I want it to be a rattle chains. Or a slip out the back. I haven't drawn Ascendant Spirit in any of these games thus far. Or Rattle Chains for that matter. Hello, Emilio. This is the annoying part. I've access to four mana. Like, Rattle Chains is actually great because it means I can play everything out at instant speed on their end step. So it plays around Supreme Verdict, plays around a few things. One of my got disconnected. Screw it. Go for it. Draw card. Ugh. Come on, farewell. Farewell. So I would not have done this line had I think I still do it. They had two mana up. They've already used two marches and they've used one fateful absence. So they were down that. We were getting swept anyways. So I, I'm i like two for wanting myself in any case. Damn, Doomscar? That's a good draw. Still a field, but it'll do. Jeez. Okay, so I'm actually gonna force their hand here. Because, so if they have Supreme Verdict, I'm gonna lose anyways. That's gonna happen. Um, if this is Doomscar, they pay three mana. And then I can Lofty Denial. If they go Field of Ruin first, then they don't have enough mana. So they get me with Shark Typhoon. So I'm differentiating because this is a lethal attacker. Ah, Atawara. Holy. Um. Probably still do that. There's 22 lines in this deck. I've drawn pretty much all of them, it seems. And there's a point where, like, we should be drawing spells, but we're not. Even, like, just. Like, look at a Spectral Sailor at this point. I can sink so much mana into it. And the problem is now they have enough of, should this be Doomscar? <sighs> Get wrecked! Get there. Should have played Supreme Verdict. Buy your His Explore Anthologies one now. Oh, we're getting the salt. We're getting the salt. Salt rope. Hi, I've played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven removal spells against your creature deck, but you interacted with my spell once on this deck? No, not in my house. Alright. 
Well, we've also drawn an obscene amount of lines. Alright. Opponent went to go cry in the corner. I'll take that. Let's run this one more. Like, outside of Spring Verdict, that matchup's pretty good. Especially if you could do, like, Rattle Chains, because then you play at instant speed, you get the protection out. We had to take a riskier line there because we were down on cards and we were, like, our percentages of winning were going down. So when you do that, you have to take more aggressive lines. Hands good. Uh, lofty. So, depending on their, what they're doing, it could be one, two, it could be one, two, three. We'll have to see how we want to sneak this in. It's probably one, two in terms of line, getting the faceless down early in case they're like on Rakdos or something with Croxa. This will help grind. The nice thing, we've run to mono green Rakdos and blue white control in the play queue, which are good decks to like actually, that's like representative of the format. Um, arguably all are good matchups. Um, this deck probably struggles a bit against like mono red. Um, like any deck you're kind of interacting, like we can interact on the stack well, we don't do as well once things hit the board. Okay. Blue white control. Ooh, interesting. Not not cool. So yeah, this is gonna be an interesting one. So I gotta dodge for one turn. I can use slip out the back as a tempo spell. But I need to get this obsession going with protection. Might be able to race them. I need like Brazen Bar. That's actually annoying. If I can get more spirits, I can also tap down their stuff. Okay, well, Shackle guys can't block anyways, but thank you. So, Sky Snare, because we have the enchant. Oh, opponent, that's not correct. So, I can counter their spell. I also have this Rattle Chains, which is nice. I think that's fine. I need to eventually find a bounce spell. I want to keep this because this is a, a good counter. So, down to 13. Let's see if they take the block here. Them drawing us cards is not the way to their victory. So now I can rattle chains. Man, if we had the sailor, we'd be doing real well. And then have up this interaction. The boots are annoying. Gonna take a chance here. I can race them better like this. If they have all that glitters, it's bad.
So I'm actually going to go Mausoleum Wanderer here because that lets me flash in Rattle Chains and then pump up its power to two, which lets me block a Ginger Brute. Also, on my end step, I have two creatures that can then tap down Ornithopter. Mm. That needs to go. I got a Lofty. Because that makes some 5-5s. Five Mind you, I could have let it go and then... Flash and rattle chains get them that way. Could have been a thing. Alright, so the deck, we went 4 0. Like you can see a lot of the interaction, how it plays out, stuff like that. So definitely, if you do enjoy this type of deck, it's there. Uh, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Uh, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great one. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe, please. Thanks. Have a great one.